All right guys, what is up? It is Josh back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can fully produce your own Fortnite montage from beginning to end. Quickly, before I actually get into the video, I just wanna say that over 60% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet. We're grinding super hard to 50K, posting daily content so you guys can improve the video editing. So it would mean a lot if you did drop us up. And I also wanna say that I've dropped one of the most insane edit packs for Fortnite montages on my channel. For example, it comes with project files, ident templates, presets, literally anything you could ever need, practice clips from pro players, literally anything you could possibly imagine you would require for Fortnite editing. So if you want to pick that up, link will be in the description like I said. Also be sure to drop me a comment if there's a specific tutorial you want to see on the channel if you're struggling with something, let me know down below and I maybe will get to it in a possible video. But with that being said, I'm going to show you how you can fully get the clips for your montage, edit your montage, and make your own thumbnail for your montage so it is a full tutorial. And unfortunately, I'm not able to link most things in description. Anymore because it is against community guidelines so i will have a google drive link down below in the description with a text document with all the links you will need for this video before i waste any more of your guys's time i'm gonna hop into the tutorial all right guys so when it actually comes to getting a clipping software to actually be able to clip your fortnite gameplay it is fairly simple all you got to do is just right click on your taskbar right here go to task manager go to performance and from there all you got to do is go down to where it says gpu click on that right there and it will show you what graphics card you actually have so for me i have an nvidia geforce rtx 2060 which is good because i'm able to use the geforce experience software which is a really good clipping software for your fortnite clips if you guys do have an nvidia card that is perfect because I'm going to be going over that in this video. If you're not too sure or you do have a Radeon, you can download a great software called Metal, which doesn't require a specific type of graphics card. It just directly clips on your computer like Streamlabs OBS. So to actually get your clipping software, just go to your browser. I use Microsoft Edge because it is the complete alpha. From there, just look up NVIDIA Highlights Download. All you're gonna do is just go to the GeForce Experience link right here press download and what it will do is it'll actually download it to your desktop by default i do believe from there you just run it and it will possibly make you update your drivers this is also what is required to download your driver so i definitely recommend that i do have some drivers i have to install like you can see but i'm not going to do it right now from there to actually set it up go to your settings tab right here and what you're going to do is you're going to enable the in-game overlay by checking this little tick box right here and you should be able to see a settings thing you can see all all these other options right here that you can mess around with afterwards you can see all the settings about your pc 2060 resin 53600 which is my cpu my ram my monitor 1920 by 1080 240 hertz from there to actually initiate your clipping software just go to the settings thing right here and what this will do is it'll bring up this little menu from there all you can do instead you can just press alt z that'll bring it up as well but you can see i have the instant replay mode turned on i'm just going to turn it off so i can show you for the purposes of this from here you're just going to go to your instant replay go to settings and this is where you can actually tinker with the settings of your video recordings so for me i use a 4k resolution like you can see you can change from the drop down right here i also use 60 fps max bit rate 130 and then it'll also show you up here you can drag this along so if you wanted it to record the past five minutes you can drag it up to there i have it set to 30 seconds because i don't really need anything more than that and like you can see there are just default presets you can mess around with but i'm just going to keep it at this and just make sure that you remember that what this is on because that'll come back later just press save and then from there what we're going to do you can just turn it on if you really want to go to your settings wheel right here and what you can also do a cool thing is nvidia highlights you can just turn that on what it does is it automatically clips kills so you don't have to constantly press the clip button but i'm going to show you how to actually set up the clip button so just go to your keyboard shortcuts right here you're going to scroll down to where it says save the last so and so minutes recorded for me it says 0.5 because that's 30 seconds that's what i set it up as so you can change it to whatever i have mine set to alt q because it is a non-active keybind that i actually use for fortnite and i have alt bound to anything so i just press alt q what that'll do is it'll just automatically clip it so if we go back here we can see that it is on i'll press alt q and we can see right in the top right it'll say save the last zero minutes 30 seconds recorded and this is exactly what we want to do and from there if you actually want to specify the location just go to your recordings right here and you can just go to videos and change that location to wherever by pressing these three dots i'll just quickly show you you just got to turn it off right here go to the recordings right here and then you can just go to wherever you want it saved to so just save it to wherever folder you can back up and change the drive that you want it saved to i'm just going to have it saved to clips and another cool feature there is a direct recording feature so you can just start a recording right here it'll say recording is started you can do whatever on your desktop 
just mess around, record maybe a YouTube video or something, and just stop recording. What that'll do is it'll just have the recording to wherever you want. What this is really good for, if you are in like an FNCS, you can just share the recording at the beginning of your game, let the game play out, stop the recording afterwards. Definitely a great option for that. Doesn't make you drop FPS or anything like that. And then your mic, you can just mess around with that, change it to the right mic input, mess around with the volume, uh, press save there. You can also turn on your camera if you have a webcam. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, you can mess around with your audio settings in here, but you can also directly live stream. I don't really recommend it. It's not the greatest. You can also screenshot through it by pressing Alt F1, just like that. It should come up in the top right corner. I don't know why it's not showing up, but normally it shows up. It might just be because I'm on my desktop, but yeah, that's pretty much how to set up your clipping software. Nothing insanely hard to do. And then once you actually just get your clips, you can import them into the editing software like I'm about to show you in a second. First, I'm gonna show you how you can just make a little basic edit in DaVinci Resolve and then I'm going to show you After Effects right afterwards. But I hope you guys found that helpful on how you actually set up your clipping software and I will see you guys in the editing portion in DaVinci Resolve. Alright guys, so we are in a brand new DaVinci Resolve project. Just change these settings to 1920 by 1080 and then change the frame rate to 60 FPS just like this, just so it looks the best. From there, what you're going to do, just go to wherever you have your clips saved to. So for me, I'm honestly just going to get a random clip from here. I'll just get one of these. And then also uh, you can just get a random song. It doesn't really matter what song you use as as long as you vibe to it that's definitely one of the most important things when it comes to editing make sure you like the song you're editing to because it does definitely make a difference in terms of how productive you are with editing how you're feeling the syncing all that stuff i'll never really use a song that i don't like because it it's it's not really enjoyable to edit with ever so honestly i'm just gonna use the song decals by rar and it's non-copyrighted and i'm just gonna drag it in just like this we're gonna trim it down just so we have the one beat that we're gonna be using i'm only gonna be showing you how to actually sync up how to add velocity and I'll show you how to add basic effects to your clip. Just drag it down just like this. We're going to find the beat right here. Press M on our keyboard or just click on the marker button up here to add a marker. And then we're just going to drag in the clip that we're using. And this is a clip by Lush, one of the pro West players that I edit for and do a lot of client work for. So we're just going to drag that in just right here and just shorten it down just so we actually see the kill right there. Drag it out on either side. And just like that, it should be pretty much good. And from there, we pretty much have it synced. All we gotta do, add velocity, right click on it, go to unlink clips, and then go to your read time controls, add a speed point on the kill, go back right about here, add another speed point, go in between the two directly, add a speed point, change the first part to 50%. Oops, I did 25%. Change the first part to 50%. Second part, change to 200%, and then change the last part to 50%. From there, just drag these out right here, overlap it just like this, trim it down just on either side, just like that. And then pretty much from there, we have a fully edited clip with velocity, just like this. <sighs> But yeah, just like that, we've added velocity to a clip. You've definitely already made progress in terms of editing. And velocity can definitely take you very far in editing. If you have good velocity, your effects, and everything around the clip itself just becomes 10 times better. Velocity is key to actually having a good edit. So from there, what we're going to do to actually add effects, just go to the effects library right here, drag in an adjustment clip, and then cut it down so it actually goes from the kill all the way to the very end of the clip. And from there, we're just going to go inside of our fusion tab like we can see right here. And you can drag in one of the presets I'll have in the description for 100% free. So I'll show you real quick this pink glow, no plugins. Uh, you, the cool thing about this one, you don't need plugins for us. It's just the standard DaVinci effects. So we're just going to connect them just like that. And we can see that we have a super clean effect already just like that and it has a glow a nice little shake and like i said in the intro if you guys want a brand new edit pack i just released with charlie fn a link to purchase that will be in the description it is definitely my best edit pack yet and it is so worth for your 15 dollars their ident templates tons of presets practice clips everything you could ever need for editing your fortnite montages so check that out that'll be the first link in the description and the last thing I'm going to show you guys is how to actually transition between clips. So I'm just going to get another random clip just like this. So let's say we're going to use this one. All you got to do to transition is just you can either go into your standard video transitions in DaVinci Resolve. Or you can go to the effects tab right here. Drag an adjustment clip above these right here. And once you're actually in the Fusion tab, you can just go to the, one of these transition, rotate, whatever it is. I have that in the Google Drive down below. Just connect it just like this by pressing Shift on your keyboard. And then you can see the keyframes right here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go so this actual area is still in the adjustment clip. So I'm just going to get rid of the excess because the keyframes are located in this portion right here. We can see these are the main keyframes that we were worrying about. And the second keyframe right here, we're going to put our playback head on this, go back out, add a marker. 
and this is the marker that we're going to line up in between the actual clips just like this and we can see if we go like this i'll actually disable the effect just so it isn't lagging we can see that there is a nice little transition in between the two clips we can see that there's always four keyframes on any of the transitions and we can see that the second one right here is the actual transitioning point so we always need our marker on that point whether it is the swipe transitions i'll quickly show you that right there i don't know why i just opened my spotify uh you just go like this and we can see exact same four keyframes just like this just make sure that your marker is on the actual point right here and just like that i hope you guys kind of got the general impression that editing montages on davinci resolve isn't really that hard i definitely recommend if you guys are new to this i definitely recommend davinci resolve 100 free for you guys to pick up that will be linked in the google drive in the description i hope you guys enjoyed this portion i'm going to be moving on to the after effects part if you guys want to skip ahead on how to make a thumbnail i'll have that in the description in the timestamp so make sure to skip ahead to any of those if you want to see something specific but with that being said i hope you guys did learn something new and i'll see you guys in the after effects portion all right guys so the first thing you want to do is just make sure you have your song and your clip in the actual composition all you got to do is just go to the beat that you want to use and press end on your keyboard to actually add a marker and then once you've done that to get rid of the excess press Control shift d and then just press delete on your keyboard to actually just get rid of that from there all you got to do is just drag in the clip over top you can just drag it in just like this and we're actually going to size it down to the part we want to use so just do something like this and then we can see that we get our kill right around here so we want to sync it up with the actual numbers above the head this is the first frame that the numbers actually show up so we're going to do that and then right here we're going to shift it down and we're actually just going to shorten that to the actual desired length press end on your keyboard to actually add a marker onto the actual kill as well from there go to animation at the top selecting the uh, video layer right here go to apply animation preset and from there you're just going to download the velocity preset i'll have in the google drive in the description so just like this slow down velocity just like that and we are just going to drag it in so the velocity the second last point is on the kill and then you can just make sure depending on what clip you have if it's 60 fps change the frame rate to 60 if it's 30 fps keep it at 30. all right so just like that you have added velocity it's that simple all you gotta do from there to actually add effects you're just gonna press Control alt y on your keyboard press Control shift d to actually shorten it to the points that you want to have it at so just like that get rid of all the excess and just like that we'll see that we have an adjustment layer just like this and all you got to do from there is just actually add the preset i'll have in the description as well it's super simple you can just add any of the impacts i'll have in the description so i have a hard impact preset right here and from there you can just add it just like that i have a super weird distort rgb one it's kind of weird looking but it, it it is super clean don't get me wrong it is definitely a good option for your fortnite montage from there if you want to actually add a transition all you got to do is just drag in a second clip so for me i'm just going to drag in this one right here and we're actually just going to zoom it out just so it is over here just slide it on over to the side just right here and let's say we want our transitioning point to be right here we're just going to press Control alt y on our keyboard shorten the adjustment clip just so it kind of lasts in between these two points right here we're going to click on the layer go to apply animation preset up here at the animation spot just like we did before and then we're just going to find the uh, transition preset i'll have in the google drive as well uh, it's just going to be this swipe left zoom transition whatever you want and just like that we can see that it actually does transition between the two but just make sure your wrap x and wrap y are set to reflect as well but just like that i've showed you the basics of a fortnite montage in after effects which are the actual syncing the velocity the transitions the effects all that stuff all i got to do from there is maybe just slap on an ident it's super simple now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hop on over to photoshop to show you guys how to actually make your very own basic fortnite montage thumbnail all right guys so i am inside of photoshop now all you got to do the first thing you want to do is just go to uh, the file in the top left go to a uh, new project and then just make a 1920 by 1080 just like this all you got to do from there just download any sort of render i have a uh, just a random little uh, render right here that you can get from any sort of Fortnite render pack 100% free I'll link a couple of them in the description as well as the uh, creators channel so you guys can support them but all you got to do from there just look up uh, Fortnite chapter 2 season 6 background or something like that anything you want and I'm just gonna save this image just like this I'm just gonna name it something random and then you can just drag it inside of your actual Photoshop thing right here we can see it's a bit uh, it, it's not scaled like it should be so we can just make it big enough so it actually is the uh, size of the screen and then we're just going to make it so this is on top of the actual background right click on the uh, render right here and you can make the uh, the render just yeah add, add a bit of uh 
outer glow to it all you gotta do is just adjust that right there press ok and then we're actually gonna go to filter right here and add a lens blur or a gaussian blur completely up to you what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rasterize this layer so i could actually add lens blur to it so i'm just gonna rasterize it add lens blur and what that'll do you can turn the gamma up too to make it super nice so you can turn up the specular highlights but just like that once you've messed around with the settings you can get a super clean lens blur like you can see right there and then from there all you got to do if you want to add maybe a highlights text you can make it say something like number eight is fine just make sure you have the burbank font installed that's the fortnite font it looks personally in my opinion i think it looks the best for thumbnails and then you can make it say something like number eight and make put it on the top and then from there all you got to do is just right click on it make it a, a duplicate just like this drag it to the side just a bit and then you're actually going to go to blending options you're gonna go to uh, color overlay so you can come down here to FX and go to a color overlay just like this make it a darker color than the yellow so you can make it like an orange or something along the lines of that if it's yellow or if it's red you can make it a darker red drag that on the bottom and just like that you can see you've kind of added a nice little 3d text uh, it's nothing too insane you can always download a gfx pack but i hope you guys did uh, find this helpful on how you can actually make a thumbnail but if you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe it's 100 free for you guys to do uh give me some suggestions down below in the comments for the for a uh, tutorial in the future i'll definitely get around to uh, some of those but like i said make sure to check out my edit pack it'll be at the very top of the description and i hope you guys enjoyed peace out